I have Senora Jill, <laughs> or Senorita, I don't know what it is, but um, we are at the Cryotherapy Plus in Fairlawn, or Akron, Ohio, and like I talked about in my previous post, if you watched me shave my face with a 10 blade to exfoliate, which is really a good idea before doing this, It right? is, it really is. I wasn't sure, because I was like, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a good idea to shave my face and exfoliate, so I really exfoliated my face, and then now I'm going to do a cryosauna. And um, Jill can tell you a little bit about the cryofacial. Yeah, for what, sure. What it's, what it's all about. Here you go. So, for the cryofacial, we'll go I don't on. Know if you need to come in a little bit yeah. closer. Yeah. So, we'll go on Trina's um, scalp, face, neck, and chest. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles, it helps with hair growth, um, it helps with puffiness. Um, it has a lot of benefits, it detoxes, it's extremely relaxing. Now, who would think 170 degrees Celsius, negative 170 degrees Celsius is relaxing, but you'll see. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for you to try it. So, tell me, like, I put, I, I washed my face, uh -huh. and then I did the dermal planing with the blade. Uh -huh. And then I put a little bit of my vitamin C serum, the CX, on it. Yeah. Is it better that I, if I wouldn't have done that, or it really doesn't matter? The oil on my skin isn't going to matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we have um, women who will come in with makeup on their faces. And oh, yeah. That's why I wasn't sure. Was it? Yeah. Did I need to even remove my makeup? No. And, I mean, it's not it's not going to be bad that you did that. But, I mean, as a, for a convenience thing, it's kind of nice. Like, we had a lady who did this right before her daughter's wedding because she had some puffiness under her eyes, and it really helped with that. Um, but didn't mess up her makeup or anything oh. like that. <laughs> she came full makeup. That's funny. Awesome. Yeah, because that was one of my questions. I wasn't sure yeah. if it really mattered if you like had a clean face or not. Not at all. And then afterwards, I'm assuming it helps, like it increases circulation and everything. It helps mm -hmm. things absorb better. Definitely. Definitely. It helps with pore size. Um, certain skin what about acne? Does it help with acne? Yes. Because I know people are going to If you guys oh, have yeah. any questions... Um, type them below, and we can try, and uh, Ray will go ask us the questions as you're typing them, and we will try to answer them as we're going through. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, it helps with acne, um, dermatitis, psoriasis, different skin conditions like that. Cystic acne? Is it good for cystic acne? Yeah, it would definitely help with that. Um, I have that actually, <laughs> and it's helped immensely with that as well to clear that up. Oh, that feels good. Good. It's a weird sensation because I know it feels wet, but it's not. I promise. <laughs> do you actually do the face too, or is it? Yep, we'll do the okay, face that's too. Okay, I was it not expecting the scalp. The scalp feels really it's good. Okay. It helps with hair growth too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. I just went and got my hair cut today. I just, had, I, just had, I just had a trim. I'm trying to decide, am I, um, it's so funny. We were talking yesterday when I was yeah, sorry. here. No, that's right. About the vapors and breathing them in, and it sort of takes your breath away. And some people do better with it than others. So if I, like, stop talking mid-sentence or pass out, just ignore me. <laughs> if it gets too cold in an area, let me know, but... Can you, do you do the neck too, or can yeah. you, like is that a? We will do that. Um, uh, it feels good on my freshly shaved face. <laughs> like I said, a little more comfortable than maybe a local would be, but yeah, I can vouch for that. <laughs> Do you test um, skin temperature for the face like you do when you're doing a local? We do not. Um, reason being, um, just because we move the move water around so much. You're not, yeah. you're not concentrating on one specific spot. Yep. Yeah, because it's, it's cold when it's touching, but it, it, the temperature goes not back to normal, but it's not. Yeah. It's not like a freezing sensation. That's why it's such a cool process, just because of like how the different, it's super cold, but the areas warm up so quickly once the wand moves away from it. Awesome. Uh, it really feels good. Good. And you do it for 10 minutes. Correct. I 
don't know if I said it before, but it does boost collagen too because of the nitrogen. We need that. <laughs> yeah. So what it does is the nitrogen actually breaks down your collagen, which causes your body to produce more to compensate for that. So that's um, the science, I guess, behind how it helps fine lines and wrinkles. So yeah, really concentrate on that one right there. You know that <laughs> you one where, it. like the boy, that's like when I'm yelling at the kids. You know, <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the yelling line. <laughs> it's really more because my eyes are getting worse and I don't wear my glass all the time, so when Does I try to squint? read something, yeah. Oh. yeah. That's what happens when you're 48. I'm 48. You don't look like you're 48. 48. <laughs> I don't have to be on 48. It's my skincare. Yeah, but um, collagen is really important because we don't realize as we age that it, you know, we don't produce as much of it. Mm -hmm. And when it breaks down, you get that sagginess yep. and the fine lines and wrinkles. So um, one of the other things that is really a, a way to, to boost the insides of your skin, I created a supplement called Simply Beautiful which has the ceramides in it, phytoceramides. The ceramides are from plants, there's different sources, but I source mine from plants, and your skin naturally has ceramides in it, and it's what holds on to the moisture inside your skin. So if you don't have enough ceramides in your skin, your moisture level will drop. And as we age, we lose those ceramides, and we don't replace them, they don't get replaced. So that's a lot of times why um, if you have trouble, like if you have really dry skin and you can literally just moisturize, moisturize, moisturize and not see any results, your skin still feels dry, it's probably because the insides aren't holding on to moisture. So you have to build up your ceramide level. So I created Simply Beautiful to replace the ceramides. It's a skin supplement. And once you build up that, your ceramide level, it plumps up your skin from the inside so that you, what you put on it will be more effective and it's going to make you look younger because if you've got moisture inside your skin, you're not going to see that sagginess, the wrinkles, and the dullness will go away too to your complexion. How's that? I just plugged it. <laughs> How you doing so far? Ah, oh, good. Good. All right, so people that are in Akron, Ohio, that is, they, tell them where you guys are located. We are, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are at 87 Springside Drive. So if you're familiar with the Fairlawn area, we are behind Barnes & Noble and next to Nails 90. And there's cryotherapy type centers all across the country. Mm -hmm. There, I th you know, are they like in physician there? Like, where would you find? Like, I'm looking. I'm talking about people that are watching this that aren't from Akron. Mm -hmm. Are they in spas a lot of times too? Like, um, to find a center that would possibly do something like this. There are some that are in gyms. Gyms. Um, a lot of chiropractors are getting them. Um, I know the West Coast cryotherapy is like really big over there. So there's a lot of just freestanding centers. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and for everyone else who's also in the Akron area, um, we don't take appointments. So if you wanted to try the facial, if you wanted to try the whole body or a local, um, you could just walk in. What is the cost of like walking in and trying one treatment? So for the whole body, the first time freeze is twenty-five dollars. First time freeze. First time you say freeze. that's so nice. I it's say like it all, all the, the time. It's all the drug <laughs> First time freeze. Don't worry about it. It's not too cold. Yes, it is. Don't, they, they lie when they tell you it's not too cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a big baby in there, but it helps so much. So yeah. I deal oh, with it. Does. it. It's it, mind over matter. It does, yeah. And then, what, like a facial, what would the facial, like a one time, just try it? Yeah, the facial is $45. And then a local is. Local is $25 per area. Now, if you do it the same day as you do the whole body, it's $15 per area. So for the locals, we get a lot of sprained ankles. Um, people who have had surgeries get them. I had after shoulder surgery. We've had a couple people come in who've done them after knee replacements. Um, just kind of depends. We just did, yesterday we did my psoas. My psoas is super tight. Working on that. 
Ah, this feels good. What, where am I at? I'm just curious. Time. Time, you're at about seven and a half minutes. I know once it's over, you're like, oh, I don't want it to end. I know. It feels, it feels really good. Ray, are there any questions that have come in? Anybody? No questions so far. Nobody's curious? <laughs> Nobody wants to know if I'm freezing my face off and it hurts? No, it doesn't hurt. It feels really good. It's sort of like taking an ice cube and just kind of rolling it around your face so you get that cold sensation in one spot. That's sort of the way I would describe it. I think that's a good description of it. Definitely. And right now it's a, uh, it's a little bit warm. A uh, negative 153 degrees Celsius. I can't believe this is the first facial you've had, too. I know. And that, like I said, I've been coming here for like a year and a half. Right. Maybe, maybe longer. I know, and I've never done the facial. Now, as I'm driving here, I'm going to be like, facial or full body? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't want full body. <laughs> the full Hammering body. is good, though. Hammering's oh, always good. The full, the full body is really, really good. So don't get me wrong. It just... It's cold, <laughs> so you have to psych yourself up sometimes, especially on cold, rainy days, or like when it's snowing out and it's super cold outside. You have to psych yourself up to go in there, but when you're done, it just feels so good. Like it, it really gives you a good boost of energy. Definitely, and of course, helps with all those aches and pains. Yeah, totally. And because it releases endorphins, um, you know the. Midwinter blues mm -hmm. helps get rid of that. Can you hear it? I'm like, <laughs> hear the sound. I think we have some questions, but we're trying to figure out how to see them. <laughs> oh, you can't see the questions? Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Are we good? You are. Uh, all right, so I'll look at the questions and try to answer them after this. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and type them below um, if you're watching this live on Facebook, and I'll try and answer them. Um, but it feels really, really good. I will probably... Um, end up putting on my vitamin C serum again, putting another coat of my uh, CX vitamin C serum because it's loaded with nutrients um, that are going to help um, just soak in really good and feel really good. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And check out um, for a cryofacial place near you.